We continue to preview the 2022 college football season. Today's stop is in Orange City, Iowa. We get to visit with the head coach of the Northwestern Red Raiders, Coach Matt McCarty. And, Coach, let's just start really quickly. Look back at 2021 just for a moment, but I, I think you have to. 12-2 and two ties the program record for most wins in a season. A fantastic year. Finishes a national semifinalist. Nine times in the last 10 years, you, your team has made it to the postseason, and that includes five consecutive years with last year as well. So a couple of losses I know you'd, you'd probably like to, to look past, take back, do something else with. However, I think you have to look at it as, as a good season. It was. You know, 2021 was a special season. And in 2021, as a calendar year in whole, um, you know, we, we played this playoffs in the spring and then uh, we're fortunate enough to make the national championship game and then had to turn around and, and, and start the season in August again. And to, to go 12 and two and, and play 14 games. And, you know, we saw a ton of growth and just really proud of our guys and, and how they handled that. There are so many different changes that went on from, you know, playing in the spring, taking two months off, starting another season, the focus that they were able to prepare with and, and practice with every day and really not take anything for granted and, and work their way through a season. And um, yeah, we lost a couple of close, tough ones there that, that could have went either way. And, um, but when you look back and reflect, just proud of what our guys were able to accomplish last year as a team. Um, you know, we, we our quarterback situation, our guys handled that really well. Blake Fryer got a ton of really good experience. Tyson Coima got to come back and finish the season and finish his career on the field. And um, just a lot of highlights from that season. And just uh, for folks who, who may not know, but uh, I'm sure everyone who follows your program knows those two losses, both to the same team, and that team happened to be the national champion as well. Uh, combined losses, 15 points total between the two. Let's let's talk about the quarterback situation just a little bit. What a, what a great quarterback. Obviously, I, I, it was great for you all to have him back and, and make one more run, finish his career well. But what Fryer did in his time, started seven of those 14 games. And he played in 12. But in the time that he had, uh, threw for more than 2,100 yards, and, and some of that instability, and which is a, a big thing for your program, bringing back so many players from last year's team, I would think it almost has to start there. Yeah, it really does. And, and the experience that Blake was able to get last year and, and get under his belt was, what was really awesome. You know, that, that's huge for us going into this next season. And, and like you mentioned, he was able to start the first seven games for us and, and really threw for 2,100 yards or – in those seven games. And um, I think he had 24 touchdown passes and, you know, Blake played really, really well in those first seven starts for us. And it was seven and I was a starting quarterback. And, um, you know, I think that's, there's a lot of excitement going into this fall just because of, of what we got to see from him in terms of leading our offense and leading our team last fall. Coach, among the, his targets that he'll get to see this year, I, I'm sure he's excited about Cade Mosier coming back as well. An All-American, first-team All-American, had more than 1,500 receiving yards and and really just a, a, a big part of that receiving core. Yeah, you know, it's nice to for a quarterback to have a, a target like Cade to throw the football to. And, and Cade can really score from anywhere on the field and anytime he touches the football. He had over 20 touchdowns last year and uh, he's just a phenomenal athlete um, and really, I, th I think, is one of the elite receivers in the NAI. Well, we thought so as, to, as well. I mean, we had him as one of our, our five top returners for NAI for wide receivers. So we're, we're along for the ride with that, too. We're looking forward to seeing what, what he's doing right here on Midwest Sportsnet, which, by the way, thank you for watching this video. And please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We've Past the 1,000 subscriber mark, so now we're looking to see if we can get 2,000. We would appreciate your help. Speaking now with Coach Matt McCarty from Northwestern. Coach, we talked about a little bit of the offense there. Nine players, nine starters returning on offense. Nine starters on paper returning on defense as well. One of those, Jesson Rankin, who uh, listed uh, as, as a returning starter, and he led the way for you, finding his way into opponents' backfields. Led the way in, in tackles for loss and also sacks for the Red Raiders last year. Yeah, you know, Jessen had a phenomenal season last year and and really came on and was playing his best football. You know, I thought the best game that he played for us last year was in our national semifinal game. He's just a really disruptive force uh, on the defensive line for us. And and Jessen had an outstanding sp spring for us and has worked really, really hard. And um, yeah, you know, right now our, our team, I guess, is, is dealing with a little bit of adversity. You know, a month ago, Jessen was 
diagnosed with cancer and, and is, is going through chemo right now. And, um, you know, yeah, we just we just ask for for prayers for him and for his family as he goes through this and for our team. You know, it's right. it's tough for our te- their teammates to to see a teammate go through something like this. But, you know, Justin's a fighter. He's got a great attitude and and we're looking forward to, to him getting back out there for us this fall, hopefully. And looking for the best for him and also for your team because a team that's obviously close linked like yours, uh, the, you know, the, things like that have an effect. It's all the way through. So we'll continue and we'll be praying for him as well. Uh, uh, among the other players coming back too, you bring back your three leading tacklers from last year, Parker Fryer, Noah Van Orf, and Taylor Olson. And, and among those three, Coach, 260 tackles combined. I mean, that's a pretty pretty solid number. It is. And, and those three are outstanding playmakers for us on defense and you know, I think the guys in front of them on our defensive line do a great job of, of allowing those guys to fly around and make tackles. And, you know, I think Parker Fryer, I've been fortunate enough to coach a lot of really good linebackers at Northwestern in, in my time here. And, and Parker's right up there with some of the best of them. And Tanner's one of the best leaders that, that I've been around. And and Noah on the back end is, is a really good eraser for us at safety. And, and he's, he's a solid playmaker and, and really the quarterback of our defense. And you know, the experience we have coming back defensively is really exciting. You know, I think our defensive staff and our players were really growing throughout the year last year and, and, and played really well in the postseason. You know, I think in our three playoff games, our defense played outstanding um, and really gave us a, an opportunity to win those games. And, and, you know, we're excited about what's to come for those guys this fall. Coach, the schedule gets underway in just more than six weeks. I know you're about ready to get back. Camp's going to start here pretty soon, and and you get to see all the all the uh, the players, the student athletes again. I'm I'm sure that's always an exciting time. But for the fans, we're looking ahead, and and just a little more than six weeks from now, when you all take to the field, and the schedule. What a what an interesting start to the schedule. You you get to go on the road and take on that team that uh, <laughs> that was just a it was it was a tough one for you last season. So you get to make some adjustments. It's morning side. It's on the road. But for Red Raider fans, the first time they get to see you all at home is just the following weekend, Saturday, September 10th, as you're hosting Dakota Wesley. And can you talk about the opening to your schedule? Yeah, you know, it, you're always excited for for the new season to kick off, and there's always great energy uh, as you begin a new season because there's that excitement, the unknown of what what the season's going to bring and uh, everybody gets back together. Everybody's excited and ready to work hard. And um, yeah, when you, you kick off with Morningside, and, and this will be the third time we've played them now in our last six games. <laughs> and the familiarity, we've, we've played them twice each of the last two seasons, uh, once in the regular season, once in the semifinals, uh, each of the last two years. And the familiarity that our programs have is, is, is strong. And so there's no surprises. There's no secrets. It's a fun game. You know, it's a battle. Uh, we have a ton of respect for their program, for their coaches. Uh, but it's an awesome environment when, when our two programs get together. Um, you know, it's second to none in, in terms of atmosphere at our level. Um, it, it's a lot of fun. It's a great game to compete in. I know our guys will have a, a great fall camp because we're getting ready for that game. And that game's looming. And, and our guys are excited for it. You know, we've had a great summer. Um, they know that September 3 is coming. So they're working hard and getting ready. Um, and it'll be a great way to kick off the season. And we'll know exactly where we are. Uh, after that first week, we'll know what we need to do to get better. And I know our guys will, will put in that work to, to keep getting better each week throughout the season. Well, Coach, I have to tell you, it's it's been enjoyable watching you all play and and, and uh, seeing uh, how you all are doing. And the Northwestern Red Raiders just continue to be among the elite in the NAI. So I'm really grateful for your time today. Thank you very much for spending time with us here on the Summit as we preview the college football season. And success to you all this year. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking time to visit with me.